Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to install a Hawkeye model Delta 10 Delta in a Sandpiper sailboat. The depth finder comes with a digital readout, a few parts, and in circled in red is uh, the transluder. There are two different methods to install the puck transducer on the inside of the hull. The one you see here is to, is to epoxy or glue the puck, uh, the puck transducer uh, on the hull. There are two drawbacks to that. The first one is if you want to remove uh, the, puck, uh, the puck transducer, it may be difficult to do so if it's epoxied. The second drawback is that on a sailboat, the, uh, the hull is not level with the surface uh, of the water, so uh, the transducer signal will not be going directly uh, down uh, to, the, to the bottom of the uh, water in a straight line. It's going to go down a, on, a, on, a, on an angle. The second method, and this is the one that we chose, is to mount the transluder with the cylindrical fitting. As you can see in this picture, the bottom of the fitting has been adapted to the hull so that the body of the fitting is perpendicular to the surface of the water. Uh, the transluder will be affixed to the screw on top of the cylindrical fit fitting so that the transluder itself will be uh, will be level with the surface uh, of the water. It's important that the cylinder be, thick, be filled with uh, water or for the colder climates with mineral oil or with uh, engine uh, coolant. There mustn't be any air, air, any air or air bubbles between the, the bottom of the transluder and the hull. This gives you an idea of where we placed uh, the transducer in, in front of the uh, keel. And here you get uh, an idea from the uh, inside of the cabin where the transducer was fitted. This is the type of ABS uh, fitting that we use to install uh, the transluder. You can use a Dremel tool or a file to adapt the ABS fitting to the uh, hull. And uh, once it's properly fitted, it needs to be glued in with epoxy. For our needs, we use Marine Weld two-part epoxy, which cures in 15 to 24 hours. We fitted the screw on top so that it would adapt perfectly to the top of the transducer. Once it was fitted, we glued it into place. A silicone sealant was used to glue it into place. Here is uh, the final product, which you can see here from a slight different angle. Here we've laid the screw on top and the transducer on the body, and it, uh, it needs to be screwed in. And finally, we tested uh, our depth finder. We placed it in a wooden uh, case to make sure it worked before we made a hole in the uh, fiberglass of the cabin. We're pleased to report that even when the sailboat was healing at 30, uh, 30 degrees, the depth finder was, uh, was reading uh, fine. So thank you very much for uh, watching, and I hope this video helps.